Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Athena and I'm Dutch, but I live currently in Greece. And uh, well, as you might have guessed, I like to read romance books. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Sorry, I don't have an intro yet. And sorry for my English already, because English isn't my native language, because I'm Dutch. So don't come for me in the comment section. Today I wanted to talk about the reading order of all the books by Rina Kent because I've bought ooh, all of them and I'm currently reading this one. Um, Rina Kent has all kind of series, standalones and duets and they are all kind of connected to each other. Uh, which I didn't know. I started reading one of the trilogies. Huh. It's somewhere, oh, I will show it to you, wait. So these three are a trilogy part of a series. I've read these ones, um, I think last year. Yeah, last year. And then I've read this one last month. Um, they are far away from each other in the reading order, but as I said, a lot of them are standalone, so you can read them as. Um, but I didn't know they were all connected to each other and that all characters are connected to each other in some kind of way. Some are family, some are old friends and everything is connected. Um, which got me excited and because I love the books that are read by her already, I decided to <laughs> order them all. So that's what we have here and yeah, so today I wanted to talk about what's the correct reading order and how everyone is connected. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, let's go. I thought it was an easy way to explain the reading order and uh, how everyone is connected because it's more easy than show you the book and only tell you instead of showing you. Um, and before we're going to start, I wanted to say um, just a quick words about what's the, what the books or the series are going to be about for if you're totally new watching this video now, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, Everything that's connected will start with the Royal Elite series. And um, this is a dark romance. All her books in, that I'm gonna talk about today are dark romance. Most of them are also bully romance. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind before you start reading. <laughs> Um, also, I wanted to say that this is the reading order that Rina Ken suggests on her website and also the family tree that you will see is from her website and I will both um, link them also in the description below. Um, so yeah, let's talk reading order. You want to start with the Royal Elite series and uh, there are seven books, actually eight if you count the epilogue as well, but you will start with the first seven books. Um, you will start with Cruel King and Cruel King is about Levi and Astrid and uh, yeah this is where it all starts so you will get to know all the other characters already and some side characters that also will appear uh, in other books so we're gonna come to that later um, but yeah this is where it starts it's a standalone you can read it as a standalone if you want um, you cannot with the next three in the series because um, Deviant King Steel Princess and Twisted Kingdom is a trilogy and this trilogy is about Aiden King and Elsa Steel and as you can see in the family tree Aiden and Levi are cousins from each other then the next three in the series are also kind of standalones, interconnected standalones, and they are about uh, Xander Knight and Kimberly Reed, which is uh, Black Knight. Uh, Fictious Prince is about Ronan and Teal. And then you have Empire, uh, Ruthless Empire, and that is about Cole and Silver. Um, now these characters, as you can see in the family tree, they have children, which is not the case um in the in the books yet they are still teenagers themselves most of them are i think 18 everyone um they go to school uh, it's the last year before they go to college and that's how most of them know each other or they get to meet each other all the guys um are very rich they come from very rich parents the school is also for elite kids um so yeah the the guys they play football together and Usually they, their parents know each other. And um, with the girls, it's a little bit 50-50 because some of them 
um, where they grew up with the guys and some of them are new to this role. For example, Elsa and Teal, they have no idea how, how it is to grow up this way as the boys did. So they are totally new into this role. So um, yeah, that's what the series is about. When you finish with these first seven books, you want to start with the Kingdom Duet. And the Kingdom Duet, um, it's a duet, but there's an extra book because Rina has a free uh, short story um, on her website. It's only available on her website. So actually it's three books, but uh, it's called the Kingdom Duet. And this is about Jonathan King and Aurora. And uh, Jonathan King is the father of Aiden King. And the uncle, of course, then of Levi King. So that's how that's connected. And then we're kind of going to finish the whole Royal Elite um, series with the Royal Elite epilogue. And all the characters that are just mentioned are going to appear in this book, of course. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the family tree of the Royal Elite University that you can see on the screen. Um, then next uh, in the reading order is the Light and Through duet, which is about Asher and Rena, and um, you can see their names in the uh, King's Youth uh, College. Um, and this is connected to the Royal Elite series because Asher goes to college with Aiden. Um, I think this is in the Royal Elite epilogue. You will see this already. Um, next in the series, uh, in the reading order, is the Thorns duet, which is about Sebastian and Naomi. And uh, Asher and Sebastian are childhood friends, so that's how that's connected. Um, next is going to be a complete standalone. It's kind of part of the Empire series, which are four books, uh, but you can read them all as standalones. And um, this is about Nathaniel and his girl. And um, Nathaniel is, uh, the, is Sebastian's uncle. Um, and he's also the owner of Law Firm, which is kind of the setting for the Empire series. Then uh, the Throne Duet. And uh, you will see their names also next to uh, Asher and Rina, because the girls are sisters from each other. So that's how that's connected. And this is also where like the whole mafia world is gonna begin kind of so it's where the all the uh, all the truths is going to connect with the throne duet then next are the four standalones that i was talking about that are part of the empire series so you've read already if if that's right the the first in the empire series which was empire of desire but now it's time for the other three remaining in this series and the first of them is empire of sin and empire of sin is about nox and anastasia and you will know nox um, because of the royal elite series he was a side character in that book because nox is the adoptive um, brother of Elsa and he's the twin of Teal. So that's how that's connected. Uh, then you have Empire of Hate and these characters you've seen in Cruel King because Daniel plays football with uh, the other guys, uh, but he was also the best friend of Astrid and Nicole is her stepsister. So that's how that's connected. And then Empire of Lust is about uh, Kingsley and Aspen, and uh, that is Nathaniel's best friend. So that's a connection over there. And then the last one, uh, which is now I think we have all the parents connected, um, is the Deception Trilogy, um, which is about Adrian and uh, Leah. And um, you will see them, of course, in the uh, King's U College. Uh, this is deep into the mafia world. So be excited for uh, very much of that. Um, and then we're going to go to the children. Um, so th these three books uh, are part of the Legacies of God um, series. Uh, at the moment, there are three out yet and uh, three to come at least I think two this year and one of them, the last one in the series is gonna come out in 
2024. So we will have to wait a while for that. Um, but yeah, this is about the children. So this has a lot to do with the family tree that you will see uh, on the screen as well, because here's it's where it's going to all connect together with the children. Um, so the first book in the series is going to be between uh, Glinden, which is uh, the girl, the youngest girl of Levi and Astrid King, and the youngest Killian of uh, Escher and Rena. Then the second book, God of Pain, is about Cretan and Annika. So Cretan is the youngest of Aiden King and Elsa. And um, Annika is the youngest, the only daughter of Adrian and Leah. And then the last book that's out now is between Jeremy, which is the oldest, the son of uh, Adrian and Leah, um, and the daughter of Xander and Kimberly. So that's how that's connected. So there are still three more books to come. Um, I think we don't know 100% sure yet uh, the couple's and how the order is going to be with the, with the books. Um, but of course, we had some small things that we could see already in, the, in these three books. So, so people are uh, predicting that it's going to be uh, Landon and Mia. So the oldest, uh, well, the oldest, they're twins, but uh, one of the twins <laughs> from uh, Levi and Astrid with um, the, one of the girls from Cal and Ray. And then we have Brandon and Nikolai, which is going to be an MM. Uh, people are suspecting, which I'm very excited for because these boys, they are perfect. <laughs> um, and then we have Ellie and Ava, uh, so the oldest of Aiden and Elsa and um, the daughter of uh, Cole and Silver. So yeah, this was the whole reading order. So yeah, that was my first ever video. I'm very proud of myself. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that was the whole reading order. So let me know if you've read the series already or if you're planning on reading them or maybe you're halfway, which book are you at? So yeah, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's it for now.